everybody. Welcome back. It's that time. Now we're going to go over our gross motor activity for today, which happens to be catching balls, right? So for this activity, I am recommending that your child be seated, ideally in a child-sized chair where their feet are touching the floor, their bottom can touch the back of the chair. This way, the child doesn't have to worry about balancing as they're trying to catch the ball. Also, I would like to recommend using a big ball. So the bigger, the easier it is going to be to catch. However, you also want it to be soft. So while the basketball is the perfect size or beach ball, the basketball is not soft enough. So I'm not going to recommend starting with this unless your child is really good at catching and you want to do this um, with a bounce catch especially. So for instance, I have this ball right here. This is a great ball to practice during catching. It's lightweight. It also has different little grabs and spaces that you can hold on to, especially for the children that have some hand motor control issues. Um, let's practice. Are you ready? Okay, so the first one we're gonna practice catching by catching from up above. So you're gonna encourage your child to put their hands out and catch. Yay! And of course you're gonna applaud. Now you can do this while facing your child or whatnot, but obviously for the purpose of demonstration, I'm gonna face you. Okay, are you ready? Let's try it again. Okay, arms out, catch, yay! So that's one example. Now, if you don't happen to have any balls in the house, another option might be a rolled up towel, or in this case, a rolled up bathrobe, right? Nothing hard, nothing exciting. Ready, catch, woo, good job. Okay, after dropping from above, the next step is to toss it. So you wanna to gently toss it underhanded to your child. Again, encourage them to catch it. So I'm going to come around to the side. So you're not going to see me, but you're going to hear me. Okay, are you ready? Arms out. Let's catch. Yay! Throw it to mommy. Good job. Okay. Another option is using a stuffed animal, which this happens to be a turtle. So he's got kind of a rounded shell. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Feet down. Arms out. Catch. Yay! Okay. Now... This skill gets a little bit harder the smaller the ball gets. This is also another good ball. I think this is a gator skin. It's lightweight. It's not going to hurt. So if it hits them in the face, not going to bother them, not going to scare them away from trying to catch a ball. Are you ready to catch? Mm -hmm. Arms up. Yay! Now, the last step that I have, I'm not able to demonstrate very well simply because I don't have any good balls right now at home that bounce. If you happen to have some good bouncy balls that especially are bigger, you're going to bounce it and have your child try and catch it that way. Now that's also tricky for the adult to try and aim, bounce it in the right spot so it bounces right at the right height to catch. Now, if your child is able to catch while sitting down, really good at balancing while standing, then go ahead and move up and make challenge that make that activity more challenging by having them stand up to do so. Also, the smaller the ball, the harder it is it's going to be to catch and more challenging. So, I have a mitt a Velcro mitt, which is another way. So this is a little game. I don't know, I think I got it as a 99 cent store once upon a time. You can also buy it online if you happen to want to. This is a tennis ball and it's a Velcro mitt, so to speak. Child puts their hand in the back. You're gonna throw it, catch. Now it is a little bit hard to aim for. So again, this needs to be for the kiddo that's ready to catch a ball, but the Velcro also allows to catch the ball on a wider base than with their own hand. Okay, catch. All right, have fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. Can I say bye? Bye.